Hey guys, I'm just here with Lord Drac or Lord Draconical. YouTube names. Woo! Uh, you were smart, you just went with Aaron. Just with Aaron, Aaron Esser. Esser. Just my name, so there much simpler. Go. Drac is in town here, we were just shooting a short film, Nerf Meets Call of Duty Zombies. He was one of the four main characters with me. Super fun time. Lots of, lots of good people working on it. It was a total blast. Aaron's like whole family was zombified, it was really great. <laughs> It was a ton of fun. It was, it was, yeah. The location's insane, you guys are gonna love the props. I'm just aimlessly spinning this like auto nerf knife finder. Dude, go for it. So I asked a couple people to mod some nerf guns, mostly just the cosmetics, just the paint job. They also did some internals as well. And Drac here was one of them. We also got Deceptive Creeper customs and blaster mods. So whatever. Formerly known as auto nerf. Formerly known as auto nerf. You changed it up on us, but I'm gonna call him auto nerf like five times in this video. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> so we're just gonna go over the guns, just show them off, kind of get you excited for the video and just show you how cool these, how oh. cool these blasters are. They kind of get pack a punched in the video, so these are like the extra special awesome blasters. You're gonna like them. All right, which one should we start with? Okay, so uh, should start with this one because it actually wasn't in the video. We didn't get the chance to use this one during filming, but this is a fully modified night finder, yep. so it's got a two times spring in here, increasing the draw. And obviously the AR has been removed. That's why you get. It. And you should never ever dry fire these, but I want you to know. Wow, like tons it's of power. power. So like these are still used in like very very serious nerf wars as the default pistol of choice and that's because they've got a ton of power. They're a direct plunger, but the real star here is the swirl paint job he's done. It kind of looks like, what would you say, Aaron, like an Easter egg? Almost. Kind of. Kind of like an Easter I egg. I definitely like the blue versus the orange. It's blue and orange oh, yeah. obviously go together like on the color wheel. So sure. it was definitely a good choice. But I mean... Easter, auto, Easster egg is, is a good 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 way to describe it. Auto nerf slash... Blaster mods. Blaster mods is like the king of swirl painting these nerf blasters. So he's done a few for the video. This is the night finder that we did not get the chance to use. But he also did the, uh, the rough cut, which I think both Mike and Dez use in the video. And this one's really wild. He's got like the uh, the little hot spots in here where it flares out and it's almost like a, a cosmic sort of thing. Plus, he did an automotive base coat on yeah. this guy, so it's got like some serious metallic flake down here. Automotive? Uh, here. Yeah, so it's like an automotive grade enamel. Okay. I'm almost positive it uh it's that just like automotive, that. automotive paint? Yeah, so like automotive enamel tends to stick really okay. well to plastics like this, especially if you base coat it with yeah. vinyl dye. And I feel like I'm not positive he uses vinyl dye for his base coats, but it looks really, really good. Like yeah. the contrast of black gunmetal and then galaxy. It's really mm -hmm. neat. This one's not modded because it's a rough cut. If you've ever seen my rough cut mod guide, it doesn't exist because the smart AR system <laughs> means that you uh, you absolutely need to keep that intact. Otherwise, it's just an eight shot shotgun that breaks like five feet and it's terrible. But this one was really, really good. Huge hats off to him, normally the paint scrapes, but he's clear coated over his swirl paint. So no matter how hard you grip this, it looks extra special awesome and we worked all of these pretty hard during the video yeah. we shot the video over three days of shooting and each of these blasters got like several hours of use constant use <laughs> for multiple people and like people not knowing how to use nerf guns either so like oh yeah there's lots of they rough were and tumbled. Yeah, rough and tumbled. We like so body check just... zombies with them. Yeah. Like, like, oh drop them by accident because we're giving them to different people and oh, yeah. running over barriers and stuff. Just in case you guys don't know, I've only been huge into nerf guns for a year, so I always get in the comments, everyone's like, Aaron, you're such a nerf noob. And I totally own that. I totally am. Drax has been doing this for like years. Like a long Blows long. me away. So I've actually like learned so much from this guy here. Right? So I've learned a lot about film. Right now we're talking to a camera that I think costs a cool four figures. So like we've learned a lot. Aaron <laughs> and I are buddies now. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail. The the That'll be the th is like, that's uh, the thumbnail of the video right there. Great. Um, <laughs> so you've got the demolisher. Yeah. yeah you did. Yeah. So this and was also my blaster mods. And this one's like. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's not a swirl paint, which is his de facto, yeah. but it looks almost like a splatter. I feel like you did something new for it. It looks almost like, and I'm gonna guess, because I have no idea how he did this one, but it looks like he did a base coat, and then he splattered water droplets or something on it, and then he did a top coat, because it's got a lot of that, like, kind of coagulant look to it, and it's perfect for a zombie blaster. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, it's, it's like zombie straight colored and everything. Yeah, he specifically did it to, like, the 115 based off of zombies. So it's got a 115 paint job and like it couldn't be more perfect for a zombies video. So See? especially the black on the green, like things that are fantastic, knows. fantastic. I will say he put a nine volt in that. Don't don't do nine volts, kids. Looks incredible. Yeah. Actually, shoots pretty hard. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about the batteries, but so, okay. So bad bad for nine volts, but. <laughs> Yay! 
I don't know. I don't know if you, hard. I don't know about you, but yeah, it revs a lot harder than the original Demolisher. So it's just that he's mixing them. That's the only thing. Okay. Like nine volts and alkaline lines don't play well with one another. Okay. No worries. This is not an electrical thing. Blaster looks sick. Yeah. Um, very very good. He also, he also removed the locks. So like yeah, it'll rev it with it. Still rev. Which was so good for like you and Dez. Oh yeah, because me and Dez suck it changing all our mags out and stuff like that. But so, it didn't keep revving, which was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like he also removed an air, air restrictor he, for, for both parts. Like, this shoots a lot straighter and better as well. He might have he might have tightened up the O-ring down okay. in here. Anyways, the missile shoots Very way, hard. way better, way harder than the original. Woo! Way better than the original Demolisher, good, so that's good. All that's good. Cool posters. Yeah. And then we have one more from him, which was like Dez's blaster in the end because she got yeah. tired of holding stuff. And Mike accidentally grabbed onto it for a bit too. Yeah. This is like a off of the dark matter camo from Call of Duty as well. So I was like, man, if I can get this blaster in there as well, it meets Call of Duty as well. So pretty sweet between the black and the purple. It's another super duper clean swirl by yeah. him. Like particularly like these lines right here. It's obvious that he like pulled the water and pressed this half of the shell through. Like it looks really, really great. Uh, Bobololo also has one of his his strong arm swirls and his okay. strong arm swirls are just really good. The shell takes it very well. And how, again, long, how long does it take to do something like that? He can correct me in the comment section, but I'm gonna guess two, two and a half hours. But it's it's a lot of work and it really, really shows. Yeah, like, it totally looks shows. Great. It's awesome. It works great. Okay, then we have uh, this loser did a really, really bad Vulcan for our video. Yeah, I don't like, I asked for some good nerf mods and like this is what I got yeah. and like. This guy named Aaron Esser made this yeah. Vulcan. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't know what he's doing. It's actually pretty I can't, good. I can't even get this thing up. It'll go on, maybe. Oh, okay. I got it, I got it. So what's the special story here is that Aaron used my soap masking tutorial yeah. to make this. So I asked all these other YouTubers and modders to make some modded nerf guns for me. So I was like, well, if I'm asking all these other guys to do it, I should at least try it myself. So I was like looking through a bunch of YouTube videos. Lord Drag here posted a soap masking video and I was like, hey, that's a simple way this to make it look. Like soap masking. Pardon? <laughs> this idiot was like, oh, we'll just put soap on Nerf Blasters. Yeah, I was like, that That looks, I think that'll be awesome and a simple way to do what I'm looking for. So I copied his technique. I will and say, this is what I got out like of it. Hats off, you did multiple layers, so it yeah. looks insane. You took it apart first, which a lot of people on their like, first big paint job, they don't yeah. take the blaster apart. Is what do they do? Just like spray paint it on? They'll like tape off the moving parts. They'll oh, take like duct yeah, yeah. tape and they'll be like, no orange tip, no trigger, and it's always really rough and everything sticks. But since yeah. you took it apart first, it looks really, really great. And you can see like going in there, the internals haven't been painted. So the orange is still good down here, which means that this guy like actuates fine, mm -hmm. which is insanely cool. And like Mike loved this thing. It was big and heavy. And I think your character and Mike's character both got a lot of screen yeah. time with the Vulcan. Plus chain guns in videos, just like cha-chunk, yeah. cha-chunk, cha-chunk. So we definitely cool. want to take advantage of like the either heavy machine guns or LMGs from, from Black Ops sure. or from all of Call of Duty. So we definitely got the Vulcan in there. We also got the Mastodon and the Rhino Fire. So this is definitely like, this is going to be one of the big guns. Oh yeah. I'm not as into Call of Duty as Aaron is. I don't know as much, but... No, it, it looks great. It's not modded internally. I have no idea how to do anything like that. We'll take it apart but, we'll mod hey, it later. Maybe I'll learn and do it later. Yeah. But at least it looked cool and, and it definitely fit for the video, so that's good. All right, so next up we have Deceptor Creeper Customs, yeah. which is a Etsy guy. And yeah, he also has a Facebook. I actually originally found him through Instagram. He always posts like every day, like awesome new mods that he does. And yeah, pretty awesome. So cool. So, so he did this, which is Dez's sniper yeah. in the video. And I mean, this is cool. He's yeah. got like a ton of black dry brushing on a really like realistic sort of build. And what makes this special is a lot of little touches. So this is like connects riveting material, which he came in and just glued into place here because he could. And then he's got a bunch of other little things like this is plate metal. This is a spring. It almost looks like a return spring from a pistol. And then up here, he's put like piping through. There's a leather wrap up top. Yeah, and then this is a really clever trick that you can do. So this is just vinyl tubing that you can use for airflow in like fish tanks. And what he did is he put it into a screw port and then wound it through the natural holes in the shell and tucked it into a screw port up here. So it looks like a laser yeah. rifle. But the real uh, hero here, I guess, is that if you pull this down. Pop the mag out there. Yeah, you can see that he's got a battery oh, pack flick it on. inside. And with the battery pack inside the stock there, he's concealed LED work. So there's LED work out of the, the grill up here, which I'm very familiar with. He actually did it in the same place that I did my Night Fury way back when. And he embedded some other LEDs up here where the bipod came off. So he's got bipod LEDs and then blue venting up top now. I'll turn this guy in too, so we can get... Oh yeah, the we got like green light, green, 
blue and like red LEDs all at once is pretty sweet. Exactly, you can make all of the colors. So the Nitron Scope is super, super cool. It's got a leather wrap. The leather wrap is like glued into place, which is uh, actually much more comfortable than I thought it would be. And then some sort of permanent stock block so that you can't move up on this taped area and then you replace the bolt. Overall, a very, very cool sniper rifle, almost steampunk-esque yeah. in its overall design and aesthetic. It's really, really cool. This guy has a ton of screen time just because it's so massive and it looks awesome. And Dez just looked great holding it. It kind of reminded me of like Widowmaker from Overwatch, if any of you guys play that. Oh, we couldn't get her to put it down. She wanted to be like... No, she loved it too. So. Yeah, the femme fatale with the sniper rifle. Yeah, it's huge, looks great. She also centers it perfectly in the yeah, video like yeah. every time she comes to Barrett it like quick scopes see I know some stuff about yeah. Call of Duty like for the first person camera usually the first time someone uses it they like can't really figure out how to center it up to the camera her first try natural boom like dead center scope looked like it's lining up all four zombies it was like nice Super job great. nice job so no. as cool as the long shot is he did the sling fire for you and this is honestly like this is the nicest sling fire i think i've ever seen yeah like this is so insanely awesome so what makes this really cool is the dry brushing and the weathering everywhere the wrap here is weathered which makes it look way 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 better the wood has all of its grain the uh is this did he paint it to look like that or did he use something different I, mean, I, I didn't even know i was like how did it's he make, how did he make it look like that and a stain Paint like, stain, okay. So like how they do Warhammer figurines with like the, okay. the washes. Yeah. So I suspect that he did like a dark green or a dark brown and then a wash of like ogren flesh black. Okay. And and really got it into that green, but it looks insane. That's sweet. The wrap looks great. And then all these metal parts are dry brushed, which is where you take a mostly dry paintbrush with like black in this case over the silver and it gives it that ultra sweet warm metallic mm -hmm. look, almost like it's rusting out. Same thing on the bronze, same thing on the muzzle. Change the muzzle brake, which is really cool. This looks like a piece of, of like a long shot barrel and you just cut it at a 45 degree angle. So whereas this normally stops here, it's a subtle thing that changes the actual shape. The actual sling flare doesn't have that, eh? No. I, I didn't even notice that. This is new. This is an addition and That's it looks cool. really I didn't really even powerful. realize that. It's just on the little He's also thing. filled some of the uh, screw bolts? The screw ports with these like rivet bolts and those just again like the little things that you can do to change the overall feel and shape of the blaster are insanely cool. He painted everything on this one, which is mm. awesome. There's no no anything showing and he's greased the clutch. He either locked it in place or he greased it, but you can hear <laughs> that instead of that ratcheting that you normally get, normally you sling fire and you're like this one is like really, really smooth. Other than that, I don't think he modified the internals too terribly. I think bad. he added a spring, let me check. It has a, had a lock and a ratchet mech removal, an air restrictor remover, and a Busby Tech 6 spring, five to six kilogram spring with a spacer installed. It's sweet. It's a very, very sweet blaster. I think that it looks great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do the ray gun. I gotta get this on camera. Oh, you can do the trick? Yeah. Look you didn't see me doing that when we were filming? I saw you doing it in filming, but oh, like... okay. Um, yeah, in case anybody ever wants to know how to do it, take your middle finger, pop it up, let it go. Oh, that's just that simple. It is that simple. Cool. Literally. You can try it right now. We've got the governator up in here. Try it, try it, try it, try it. Try it. I was doing... Alright, so I'll show you my trick with it. Yeah. And then, so I'd put all four fingers in. Yeah. And I would... Oh, okay. Like, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the Terminator, but your trick is out here and then just let it fall forward. No, let it fall backwards. So like backwards? Yeah. Like... yeah. Oh, Isn't that that's, cool? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks really, really cool. I, everyone says it reminds them of the, I think it's the Argus from Black Ops 3, which it totally does. If it's the right shotgun. I haven't, I haven't been playing for a while, so. Um, your ray gun again. is killer, yeah. So I did a separate video of this. This is not a Nerf blaster by any means. It's a 3D model, 3D printed from Easton 3D Services, I believe their name is, from the UK. So I got this a little while ago and just painted it. And There's it looks a lot of really awesome. good 3D printers out in the UK. I don't know why it is, but uh, Kirby McDowney is out there as well. Shout out to you, dude. <laughs> No, the, only other, the only other guy I know who does a ray gun as well is also from the UK as well. So. Yeah, no, there's know. just a yeah. lot of hobbyists for it. But this guy is really cool, and you made a full video on it, which yeah. I've watched. Yeah. So, but it, uh, how do you unlock this? You oh, just, you just add some pressure, yeah, and it just pops down, and then it's got the battery in there. So like, the fact that it oh. actuates, Mike broke it. Yeah, it's this guy fault. was PL premiumed, and PL premiumed in there, so it wouldn't fall out. But uh, I, need, I need to re, I need to re glue it in there. Battery goes in and out, yeah. which is super duper cool, and then this snap. <laughs> I'm just breaking your toys. Sadly, while we were shooting, we lost this piece, but we're going back, and hopefully, I'll find it. We'll find it when we clean up. But like this guy articulates down here, so you can change yeah. the dials and the knobs and uh, trigger moves. It's 
It's got like a rubber band inside? Yeah, it's got two rubber bands and then, or you can add three or you can lower it down to one however much uh, tension you want. Yeah, however much tension you want on the, but the trigger. The Porter X2 ray gun, very, yeah. very cool. A bunch of people last time were like, you painted this the reverse color. And actually, Black Ops 1 and 2, the green's at the front, red is at the back, but Black Ops 3, I believe so, I, I, I just checked some images on Google, they switched it around. Oh, so got whoever, him. whoever's calling me out, yes, this is right. This is incorrect for Black Ops 3, but for Black Ops 1 and 2, it is correct. So and we're playing uh, Kinder The map would be based off of Kinder so it would be Black Ops 1. Oh, got him. Aaron was right the whole time. Lawyered, lawyered. Deal with it, you two. <laughs> okay, and so I brought a couple of pack of yep. guns myself. And these are like special blasters that have their own videos. This one actually just has a quick video where I throw it into his pack a punch machine and pull it out. Awesome. But that's because I've done in, yeah I've done Infinity Strike mods. So so this is a basic strike mod, and it's got Aussie motors that run on a 2S. And in addition to that, it's running off a graphene lipo, so that's hiding inside there. It's been fully rewired with 18 silicon wire, which gives it like a really clean pull. And it's got a high amperage micro switch in the back, so that it can handle that kind of stuff going through, because it would fry the spring in the stock one. All the locks are removed. It's kind of been greased up for ease of use, and it has Doomlands double dealer magazine in it. Okay. Because I like the P mags a whole lot. Oh, that's right. Really uh, okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and fire it. It revs up. <laughs> so it does that. Aaron didn't tell me that we would like be shooting zombies at close range, so I was like, mod it to the nines, and then he wouldn't let me shoot people with it for real. Yeah. So no, you shot people with it. I shot some people with it because I just couldn't resist. I went into HVZ mode, but sometimes I'm like, pew. We tried not to shoot people in the face with the with the modded blaster, yeah, especially this really guy, nice. and especially with the, the long shot here. But it's a uh, it's a so masking because I saw like a lot of like weird cryptic paint job stuff in the pack of punch guns because I yeah. haven't played in so long. You could double pack gun guns now. That's no yeah. fair, but it's really really cool. Aaron's had me playing zombies ever yeah, since. Yeah, we've been playing the last two or three days. Up. I mean, it's a very simple mod, and I've done a lot of strikes like this. But this one is for Aaron now, so he has to play HBZ with me later on. I definitely will, man. Let, Let me know when and where, and I'll be there. Definitely. So this is, of course, the Argonaut. It's my super trusty sidearm. Uh, I have a full video on this, but it's got a Sea Monster Hydra Dip on it, and that's a lot like Auto Nerf on its swirl paints, except you use a film and dissolve it, so you get like these really cool patterns and figures on it, and then of course it's got the, the aluminium kit from blasterparts.d, which means fan firing is a breeze and super duper sweet, so I fan fire down some Zeds in the game, as well as like the black leather wrap and stuff, and there's a fun story about this one. Uh, Canada has no oh, open carry laws. Yeah, oh yeah, and that's so, a fun story. I'm so used to wearing the Argonaut in my Apex holster, and then when I had to use the restroom in the mall next to the place that we were shooting at, I was like, oh, I'll just go to the bathroom, and apparently by the time I'd gone to the restroom and left, a bunch of the store owners had been like, there's a guy with a gun. He's walking. got a holster on his on his hip, what's and, happening? And I can understand that, like if all you can see is like leather wrap and metal hammer, like my bad Canada. Yeah, I am you very, cannot very you sorry. cannot open carry in Canada by any means. It's illegal completely. You can have a gun license and own a gun, but you cannot carry it around in public. You cannot bring a gun to the movie theater by any means. Nope. And definitely not walk to the mall with it. So don't do that. Yeah, he, I think they I terrorized got, Canada. Yeah, some yeah. people some people were running for their lives. It was scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lord Drac the terrorist. Lord Drag Terrace mode, hammer shot for the win. No, we'll never do that again. We'll be better about it. Sorry, Canada. Or wait, what do you guys, uh, I should be like, oh, sorry about that, eh? Yeah, sorry well, about that, eh? Anyway, uh, that's the Argonaut. I've got a full video on this, which Aaron could link or not. Yeah, I don't sure, care. definitely. It'll be in the but description below. This is like my favorite hammer shot. It comes with me everywhere. He's like my best friend. And he does a lot of zombie slaying. Like when primaries run out of juice, like this is the one that you reach for and hammer so fire. So your backup. At HBZ. Don't have to worry about batteries and all nope. that stuff. No batteries, just very reliable. Oh, it's your old faithful. Yep, just right on your hip. Like John Wayne would have done. So Aaron, I think that that's actually all the Pack-a-Punch guns that we used yeah. in the movie. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other blasters, like obviously there's a regular stock version. Stock forms There's a everything. stock form for all of these that should make it into the final video. So you'll see that soon when the video comes out. There'll be a link in the description for blaster mods, Decepticreeper Customs, the, the guy who made the ray gun. The ray gun. Uh, my link for my Vulcan, and of course, Lord Jack. We'll have a link to the, the videos for each of these for each of these blasters as well. Which I'll have to launch them early. Yeah. Yeah. Very very cool.
Man, thank you so much. Thank you. Man, yeah. you have taught me so much over the last couple of days about I mean, like, all of this stuff. So I hope I hope you learned some stuff about filming. And stuff it was too, a good so. collab. I learned yeah. a lot about like lighting and cameras to use and like yeah. how to corral cats. That was pretty cool. And then like <laughs> you learned how like the toys you've been using work. Yeah. So everybody yeah. wins. I'll be back. I'll be in more of Aaron's videos next time. I'm gonna yeah, gun game sure. you to death. Okay. Nah. Man, I'd love to have you in a gun game. That'd be fun. That would be insane. Next time you come down to the states, if you hit up that paintball arena again. Okay. We're just like being buddies right now on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. It's all good. Yeah, we've had a we've had a fun last couple of days. So. It's been great. Yeah, played lots of video games and Pokemon Go hunting and nerf, did a lot of nerf and YouTube talking. So many Kinder eggs. Yeah, ah. they don't have Kinder eggs in the states. It's illegal to have yeah. a Kinder egg. But Open carry, carry in the mall is fine, but no Kinder eggs. Yeah. yeah, one a gun and a Kinder egg. One of these are illegal. Can you guess which one? One of these one? things is not like the other. Yeah. One of these things is yeah. dangerous. Whoa! All right, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.